Hi guys, it's Susan and Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. That's right, I'm back and Luke is here and today we are actually doing a camper's cafe. And I'm sure you're wondering what kind of camper's cafe we are doing. And today we're gonna take a look at some snack foods. And these are from Utopia. So with these snacks here, we have three different types. We have Espresso Obsesso, we have Bananas for Chocolate, and we have So Money Honey Mustard Snacks. With these snacks here, Susie will tell us more about them. Yeah, so Utopia Snacks reached out and said, hey, we've got a new snack food that we think you guys would like. Would you like to try it? And we said, sure, why not? You know, typically when we go out hiking and camping, you'll see us with a snack, usually granola bars. I know you eat little snack food, granola bars. Yep. Trail mix is a common snack food. And with Utopia, they wanted to create something that is not another bar. So they have three different flavors of these snacks. They are high protein, low sugar, GMO free, gluten free. Whoa now. Low calorie. <laughs> I need my gluten, man. <laughs> Luke is upset about the gluten. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Anyway, so why don't we just tear into these and try each of the flavors? Right. Now, of course, the channel here is 100% agenda free, so we're not trying to sell you these snacks. We are going to be upfront and honest with you all, with this company. If we like them, we will say so. If we hate them, we will say so. So with that being said, let's go ahead and give these a shot. Out of the three snacks that we have, Susie, why don't you pick one to start with? I say let's try the So Money Honey Mustard. Sounds good. All right, let's tear into it. The So Money Honey Mustard flavor has 130 calories. It is one serving and it has 10 grams of protein. Let's start with the same thing. So let's go with the stick. What exactly is that? Okay, uh, I believe it's a jalapeno mustard stick. It looks like a pretzel to me. Okay. Why don't we both try a small piece? Nah. See if it's spicy. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> There is a little bit of a, a heat to it. There is some heat. But it's almost flavorless, isn't it? Not much flavor with that. Yeah. Well, maybe we should try another one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go do this thing. Okay, these are fava crisp. Okay. There's basically three components with this snack. We have the, the pretzels, the fava crisp, and an almond. Okay. That's it, that's all that makes up this snack. Now, unfortunately, I had no honey mustard, no mustard taste at all. No. Not with that first bite. Not with that one. Yeah. Let's try this. Mm. Yep. That's good. That's good. That's tasty. Yeah. I don't think I like the jalapeno stick. Well, I it think... doesn't. It doesn't do anything for me. Maybe as a combined with everything combined, else. Yeah. We'll see. So I guess we'll just try an almond. Okay. It's an almond. You can't mess it up. Right. Just a roasted almond. Okay. A stick, an almond, a fava crisp. Okay. Okay. So this is the combo. The triple combo right here. Yep. All right. All right. Ready? All together, I don't mind it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the flavor is really subtle. It's not an explosion. Mm -mm. And that tells me that this is low sodium. You know, this isn't like packed with sodium in this. And that's not a bad thing. All yeah. together, all mixed up. It it's is low good. sodium. Yeah. Also, these snacks are low sugar. Yeah, you know, I, I like this. I'm not gonna say I love it. I, I wish the flavor was just a little bit more intense. Mm -hmm. I like a stronger mustardy Honey flavor. Honey mustard, yeah. yeah. Subtle. Not bad. Not bad. Not super amazing. Right. I will say, okay, we both have ate it. There's no more almonds left. They're gone. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so it we're is, almost out of the uh, yeah. lava thing. So it is comprised of mostly these honey mustard pretzel, jalapeno pretzels. Yeah, is what and they unfortunately, are. once everything else is gone, I wouldn't be yeah. interested. Yeah. Okay, let's just All go right. ahead and give this a rating. 10 being the best, zero being the worst. Your rating is please. For this flavor, I'm only going to give it a five. Yeah, I'm going to give it a four. Flavor's not super strong. There's way too many pretzels, in my opinion, and they're somewhat flavorless. Right. Subtle, so. So money, honey mustard is a little subtle, mm -hmm. but let's move on. Moving on. The banana for chocolate's flavor is one serving. It has 130 calories and eight grams of protein. All right, it looks like we have some dried banana chips. This is a mocha flavored cookie puff, is what the package says. Sweet. And down here in the bottom, you kind of have to dig for them, but they are sunflower seeds with dark chocolate on them. Oh. Very tiny. Let's try one of those. Yeah. You want to try okay, one? Okay, so let's try the little sunflower seeds. Okay. 
Sunflower it is exactly seed. what it is. Sunflower yeah. seed and chocolate. Yeah. All right, let's go for a puff. A puff? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shall we? All right, ready? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of like cookie puff cereal. Mm, I've never had that. What know. about you all? Have you had cookie puff cereal? All right, let's go for a banana chip. Okay. That is just, like it, it's banana, it, but it is so faint when it comes to flavor. It's so subtle. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's just try a combination of everything together. Okay. I think that will pretty much take care of the uh, banana. Well. There's not much banana in this. You know, like when it comes to a snack like this, when you have multiple components, I really like to see that the components are equal. You don't have, you know, a whole bag full of one thing and like two pieces of banana. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yep. All right. Ready? The flavor is just really subtle. Mm -hmm. uh, this snack has six grams of sugar, so it's up from the last one. Mm -hmm. This is definitely more of like a sweeter snack with the components, but still, it's just It's very, not sweet, though. It's not sweet. Don't, yeah, don't take that, that it is sweet. Mm -hmm. I just meant with the chocolate, banana, the cookie. Yeah. It's just very subtle. It is. It's very, very subtle. I can't say that I necessarily like this one, to be it's, honest. Yeah, it's okay. I do like the little sunflower seeds. Though. Yeah. You know yeah. I'll use some more seeds. I think, in my opinion, I would give this three spoons. It's just not something that I... I personally care for. Right. Honestly. I'm just back at a five. I yeah. think it's just very subtle. There's no explosion, like flavor explosion in mm. my mouth or anything like that. Yeah. You know, it's like you don't have to have something, a snack that's just full of salt and sugar, but it does need some flavor to it. And like the flavor here is just very bland. You get little essences of each component, but mm -hmm. in my opinion, it doesn't work very well. It, I just don't like it, to be honest. All right, well, we've got one more to okay. try. All right, and with this one here, this is the Espresso Obsesso, 130 calories, eight grams of protein. So we have mocha cookie puffs, which are this going to be the same thing as the other package? Well, let's look. Yes. Okay, well, unfortunately, I did not really care for those. So. Yeah, so actually these are gonna be in this snack as well. Okay, and this also features dark chocolate espresso beans. So. And almonds. Yep, and almonds, so let's tear into it. So we are at the last one, let's see how it goes. I guess I'll start with a mocha chip. All right. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's the exact same thing as with the other package. Mm -hmm. I'm just not a big fan of these. They're just okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do an almond. Okay. An almond is an almond. I like it. Good almonds. Yep. Okay, we have espresso beans. Mmm. Mmm. Hell yeah. Those are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm Very good. There's not many of these. No, nope, you gotta see, do two, four, you gotta do the five. You gotta do the triple. Yeah, there's five in here, which is a shame. Yeah, that's the best part. Yeah, there's not many almonds. Looks like there's about five, six of these, and the rest are those little... Too many cookie puffs. Too many cookie puffs. So, combo with combo. everything. Out of the three, this one's my favorite. I'm going to give this a five. I like the espresso beans. Mm -hmm. Almonds are fine. I don't like the cookie. Mm. What do you think? I would give this one a six. I think there is more flavor there. Mm -hmm. I even was getting a hint of espresso with the cookie puffs, probably just because they are packaged together. Mm -hmm. And I thought that the one of each was a really good flavor. Yeah. So I will give it a six. This one is the winner out of all the flavors for me. All right, well, Susie, we have tried all three. For myself, to be just straight up and honest, I I'm not sure how you could purchase these. I'm sure you'll tell us here, but if I was in a grocery store and I saw these after trying all three of them, I think I would skip them. Skip them? They're not my thing. All right, well, let's talk about where you can buy them. You can buy them on Amazon and at the website, utopiasnacks.com. They are sold in packs of 10, 30, and 60. A pack of 10 will cost $27.95. That comes out to about $2.80 per pack. Okay. Are these available in grocery stores that you know of? Not that I know of. Okay. And Utopia Snacks did not provide any additional information in regards to that. So all I know is the website and Amazon. And of course, if you buy in bulk, the price per package goes down. 
So if you were interested in buying like 60 packs of them, then you're gonna get that price per right. package down a lot. So basically, you know, I'm looking at it as a $3 snack. Mm -hmm. That is comparable to protein bars and things like that. Maybe not so much trail mix. Sure. Or a pack of granola bars. The low calorie, high protein, low sugar that will appeal to some people. I think the biggest con to these snacks is the price point for most people because mm -hmm. if you think about, would you go out and spend $30 to get 10 packs? Right. Because that's really what it boils down to. Yeah, that's and quite a bit of money. I think the most common uh, complaint I saw on Amazon is that people did spend the 30 bucks and all they had was 10 small packages. So I think there was a little bit of disappointment. Yeah. You know, talking about disappointment, I think we got to talk, mention one more time, the imbalance when it comes to the specific components of each bag. Because like you would have like 30 of one thing and like four of one thing and so on. Right. The, you need to have equal components of each, in my opinion. Right. Yeah, there's a little bit of uh, imbalance with the components. Each snack has three different components, and each snack had clearly one large component. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Utopia Snacks, thank you all so much for letting us try these out. We do appreciate it. Folks, if you have any questions, comments, comment down below. Share your thoughts if you tried these or if you plan on trying them. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you all. Yeah, have you seen them in a store? Are you going to pick up a bag? Let us know what you think. Let us know if that's the kind of snack that you would like to take out on the trail when you go out for a hike. Right. All right, guys. Strength and honor. See you guys around. See ya. Bye.